everything is filled up with the waves either sound or light hello students welcome to this fresh course on electromagnetic fields i hope everyone is doing well at home and following covid-19 protocols properly we are going to discuss about electromagnetic fields this subject is considered as one of the toughest subject in physics and engineering what i observed was that we need to adopt methods differently for understanding the problem actually the main problem in understanding this subject is that the concepts explained in textbook are given in two dimensions but we have to understand the concepts of this subject in three dimension so that is the place where most of the students get confused and feel that this subject is difficult so here i am trying to focus on removing fear of this subject by explaining it in simple language with necessary examples given in three dimensions so we are going to begin with this subject with the quote of albert einstein he states that imagination is more important than knowledge so knowledge is limited but if you have imagination power it can take you to any corner of world and universe you can explore many 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 opportunities so let us begin with this subject with the importance of imagination there are two types of waves one is longitudinal wave and another one is transverse wave motion let us discuss about longitudinal wave first Longi longitudinal There are two types of waves. One is longitudinal wave and another one is transverse wave. Let us discuss about longitudinal wave. These are sound waves. We get sound from many objects and many things. Even when we talk, we get sound out of our mouth. There are a few interesting facts about the sound. Sound travels 4.3 times faster in water than air. It has a speed of 1,482 meters per second. Sound travels three times faster through steel material, and its speed is almost 4,500 meters per second. Leonardo da Vinci was the famous Italian thinker and artist and usually he is credited with the discovery that sound moves in waves. He made this discovery around the year 1500. These sound waves in air are longitudinal in nature. That means the particle which are moving through medium are in parallel to the direction of propagation a vibrating string can be an example of longitudinal wave these sounds can be used in many functions like sound can make objects levitate sound can create electricity sound can be used in medicine as ultrasound sound can clean sound can cure cancer an acoustic as acoustics is a branch of physics that deals with the study of mechanical waves in gases liquids and solids including topics such as vibration sound ultrasound and infrasound now what are these ranges of the sound we can divide these sounds into two types Sound is a form of energy that is produced by vibrating bodies. But the question is, can we hear the sound of every vibrating body? The answer is no. So, according to our audibility, we can divide sound into two categories. One is audible sound and another one is inaudible sound. Human ear cannot detect sound frequencies less than 20 Hz. 
What is Hertz? Hertz is unit of frequency. And what is frequency? It is the number of vibrations completed in one second. That means we can we cannot hear the sounds which are vibrating less than 20 in one second. So to get it audible, we the sound wave must be vibrating beyond 20. The maximum frequency human ear can detect is 20,000 vibrations per second. That is 20 kilohertz. Our ears can detect only a relatively small range of frequencies of vibration. Beyond what we can hear, there is infrasound, where the rate of vibration is too low for us to hear. It is normally be below the 20 Hz limit. And there are sounds which are above our capacity of listening, that is 20 K Hz. They are called as ultrasound, where the rate of vibration is too high for us to hear. But few animals can hear these sounds, like we can see here that dolphins and bats can hear the ultrasounds. Some animals like dogs have the ability to hear sounds having frequencies higher than 20 kHz. For everything there is a particular frequency. It is also said that human body parts are also having particular frequency. So I leave you with one question that what is the most dangerous frequency to the human body? You have to search the answer and post, post it in the comments or in the google form given in the description. Another type of waves are transverse wave. We are concerned about the transverse waves. The examples of transverse waves include the motion of water on the surface. We might have seen the waves on the ocean or the movement on the surface of water when we drop a stone on a silent pond. These are the motions which are perpendicular to the direction of propagation. We are concerned about the electromagnetic waves which are nothing but transverse wave motion. A sinusoidal wave is an example of transfer motion. Here we can see that the direction of propagation is shown with this arrow which is going towards the right side. And the sine wave which is going up and down is making a movement which is looking like the waves on a water surface. These are perpendicular. These are going upward and downward which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Similarly, we can see horizontal movement. The horizontal movement is the motion like a snake. When a snake moves on a surface, we can see this kind of pattern. So the interesting thing is that the motion of electromagnetic wave will have the vertical and horizontal movement which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. What we have to remember is that we have two types of waves. One is longitudinal wave, another one is transfer wave. The simple thing is that longitudinal waves are the sound waves. Transfer waves are the light waves. In sound, there are sounds which we can hear. Those are audible sounds. Its range is 20 Hz to 20 K Hz. And there are inaudible sounds. These are below 20 Hz and above 20 kilohertz. These are audible to few animals. Transverse wave. We have to remember that transfer wave is nothing but light. In light, we may have visible light or invisible light. Simply we have to remember that for sound, technical word is longitudinal wave and for light, technical term is transverse wave. Now let us discuss few more details about electromagnetics and why to study them. There are many advantages of electromagnetic energy. It is clean, it is not polluting like oil and coal, nor 
it destroys the environment. All the waves, either sound or light, they carry some kind of energy from one place to another place. Light carries information in ways you may not realize it. Cell phones use light to send and receive call and messages. This invisible light we call as electromagnetic field or electromagnetic radiations. Wireless routers are light to send pictures of the images we use on internet. The radios use light to receive music from nearby radio stations. Even in nature light carries many kind of information. We use telescopes. These are light collectors and everything we know from Hubble is because of light. Hubble is a space telescope which can view objects in more than just visible light including ultraviolet, visible and infrared lights. These lights enable the astronomers to determine certain physical characteristics of objects present in the space. There are many applications of electromagnetics, but the most important application which is concerned to us is in communication. Earlier there were telephones, those were called as landlines. Those were not mobile, they were not able to, they were not portable. But after invention in the usage of electromagnetics, we have mobile phones. And mobile phones is a very good enough reason for us to study about the electromagnetics. Because if we forget mobile phone at home for a single day, we feel like we are handicapped. It is now part of our life. It is like a body part for us. We cannot survive without mobile phones. How these mobile phones work? They work on the principle of electromagnetics. When we talk, we convert our signal into digital form inside the mobile phone. These mobile phones then convert these signals into the proper appropriate form which are ready for the communication. Then these signals are transferred to the outside world using an antenna. Electromagnetic radiation is all around you. Don't worry, it is just an energy from light. Radiation travels in waves like an ocean. Some wavelengths are long, others are short. Our eyes see only visible light, like the rainbow light waves, which is combination of various colors. Other than mobile phone communication, electromagnetic radiations are used in various applications such as broadcasting of radios and television signals. They are used in cooking in the form of microwaves. They are they used to transmit heat from sun fires and radiators in the infrared region. We use visible light which is nothing but electromagnetic absorbed by the skin. They are used in the flares and tubes. X-rays we use to view inside the bones and find out the defects. Gamma rays are used in medicine for killing the cancer cells. There are many many applications of electromagnetic radiation. In next session we will discuss about electrostatics and electromagnetic spectrum. Till then have a good time and answer the questions in the comment. Explore the new things and don't forget to share this video.